Elon Musk just dropped a bombshell for the Starship program, and it comes right after SpaceX achieved one of its biggest milestones yet, catching a super heavy booster mid-air. What does this game-changing move mean for the future of space travel? Stay tuned to find out how this announcement could revolutionize everything we know about reaching the stars. In a groundbreaking moment for space exploration, SpaceX has once again proven its innovation with the successful catch of a super heavy booster during Starship's Flight 5. This accomplishment not only marks a significant technical achievement, but also comes alongside a major announcement from Elon Musk that promises to propel the Starship program even further into the future of interplanetary travel. On October 13, 2024, SpaceX reached a critical milestone when it successfully caught a super heavy booster using its launch tower's catching arms after a controlled descent during Starship's fifth orbital test flight. This feat had been a long-standing goal for SpaceX and required precision timing and advanced engineering to ensure both the booster's safe recovery and reusability. The super heavy booster, the most powerful rocket ever built, is essential to the Starship's mission of deep space travel. By catching it mid-air, SpaceX can potentially reuse the booster multiple times, drastically lowering the costs of launching the Starship into space. This innovation is a key step toward Musk's vision of making space travel more accessible and sustainable. In the wake of this achievement, Elon Musk made an announcement that shook the space industry. SpaceX is now moving forward with its plans for the first crewed Starship mission to Mars, potentially launching as early as 2027. This timeline aligns with the expected technological advancements necessary for long-duration human spaceflight, including life support systems, radiation shielding, and in-situ resource utilization on Mars. Musk emphasized that the successful catch of the Super Heavy booster was a major hurdle that needed to be cleared before Starship could be fully operational for interplanetary missions. He noted that reusable rockets are the linchpin for sustainable Mars colonization, as they enable multiple round-trip missions with minimal cost. The implications of Musk's announcement are monumental. With the Starship program entering a new phase of testing and operational readiness, SpaceX is closer than ever to realizing its long-term goal of establishing a human presence on Mars. The Starship system, designed to carry both crew and cargo, will be instrumental in setting up the infrastructure needed for a permanent Martian base. Additionally, this breakthrough further solidifies SpaceX's dominance in the commercial space industry. With reusable rocket technology advancing at an unprecedented pace, competitors will find it challenging to keep up with SpaceX's rapid progress. The cost savings from booster reusability could also open the door to new partnerships with governmental and private space agencies for a wide range of missions, including lunar exploration, asteroid mining, and space tourism. So, what is SpaceX's Mechazilla, and how does it work? SpaceX's Mechazilla, an integral part of their Starship launch infrastructure, is a towering robotic system designed to catch the Super Heavy booster as it returns to Earth after a launch. The concept is revolutionary in that it bypasses the need for landing legs or other traditional ground-based landing systems. Instead, Mechazilla allows for a more efficient, rapid turnaround by catching and supporting the booster in mid-air. Here's a detailed explanation of how this system works. Mechazilla is integrated into the launch tower, known as the Orbital Launch Tower, at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. The structure stands hundreds of feet tall and has two massive chopstick arms, which are the key to catching the booster. Chopstick arms. These are long, movable mechanical arms with hinges that can open and close around the Super Heavy booster. They are mounted to vertical tracks on the tower, which allows them to move up and down. When a booster is coming in for a landing, the arms adjust their position to precisely intercept it. Precision movement. The entire catching process is highly automated, with sensors and software coordinating the exact timing and position of the arms. The chopsticks are designed to cradle the booster without damaging its structure. The goal is to gently catch it in the arm's grip, effectively suspending it in mid-air. The catching process. After the Super Heavy booster completes its role in launching the Starship to space, it separates and begins its descent back to the Earth. Unlike traditional boosters, which would either be discarded or land on legs, SpaceX's design involves the booster returning to the launch tower. The booster uses its grid fins, 
aerodynamic surfaces near the top of the rocket to control its descent. These fins help steer the booster toward the launch tower. As it nears the landing site, the Super Heavy Booster reignites some of its Raptor engines to slow down its descent and perform a controlled landing approach. This is similar to how Falcon 9 boosters land, but without landing legs. When the booster reaches a low altitude and close proximity to the tower, the chopstick arms spring into action. The arms move into position along the tower, guided by precision sensors and timing systems that track the booster's exact location and descent speed. The arms close around two predefined points on the booster, known as the catch points. These are structural locations designed to bear the load of the booster without damaging it. The booster's descent slows to a near stop, and the chopsticks gently cradle it. Once the chopsticks catch the booster, they hold it firmly, supporting the weight of the massive rocket. The booster is then repositioned for refurbishment or repositioning to the launch mount for reuse. This process is designed to drastically reduce turnaround time, potentially allowing SpaceX to launch multiple missions with the same booster within a short time frame. One of the primary advantages of Mechazilla is that it allows for rapid reuse of the Super Heavy booster. Instead of waiting for the booster to land and be transported for refurbishing, it is immediately caught and held in place by the launch tower. By eliminating landing legs, the Super Heavy booster is lighter and more aerodynamically efficient. Landing legs add significant weight to rockets, which can reduce payload capacity. Mechazilla's catch and release approach removes this need, allowing for more cargo or fuel to be carried. Traditional rocket landings involve some impact with the ground, which can lead to wear and tear over time. Mechazilla avoids this by providing a soft catch, reducing the strain on the booster's structure and extending its operational life. SpaceX aims to mass-produce Starship and Super Heavy boosters. By making the catch and recovery process simpler and faster, they can achieve higher launch rates, which is essential for missions to Mars, the Moon, and even regular satellite deployments. Elon Musk has emphasized that Mechazilla is a crucial part of SpaceX's goal to make space travel more like air travel, quick, reliable, and frequent. The system is still undergoing fine-tuning and tests, but the success of catching a super-heavy booster during Flight 5 demonstrates that the concept is not just feasible, but also effective. In the future, Mechazilla could be deployed at multiple SpaceX launch sites, both on Earth and possibly on future planetary bases, like those on Mars. The ability to catch and reuse rockets quickly will be critical in establishing sustainable human colonies on other planets, where rapid, reliable access to space is essential. SpaceX's Mechazilla represents a monumental leap forward in reusable rocket technology. By successfully catching the Super Heavy Booster during Flight 5, SpaceX has demonstrated the system's potential to revolutionize rocket recovery and space travel logistics. This innovation could enable faster, more affordable space launches and play a critical role in making interplanetary travel a reality. And now let's take a closer look at how Ship 30 performed in Flight 5. In Flight 5, Starship 30, also known simply as Ship 30, underwent a critical series of tests and maneuvers that helped SpaceX push the boundaries of reusable spacecraft technology. This test flight was closely monitored because it marked another major milestone in SpaceX's development of its Starship system, which is designed to carry humans and cargo to destinations like the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Here's a detailed breakdown of how Starship 30 performed during this mission. Starship 30 is part of SpaceX's rapidly evolving fleet of prototypes. Each version of Starship undergoes continuous improvements based on the results of prior test flights. Starship 30 is an advanced prototype of the upper stage of the full Starship system, consisting of both the Super Heavy Booster, the first stage, and the Starship, the second stage. Here's the breakdown of the major changes and key features introduced in Ship 30 compared to Ship 29. Improved Raptor engine performance Ship 30 saw enhancements to its Raptor engines, continuing the evolution of this powerful engine design that began with earlier Starship prototypes. While Ship 29 utilized the Raptor version 2, Raptor 2 engines. Ship 30 featured further refinements aimed at boosting efficiency, reliability, and thrust to weight ratio. Thrust upgrades. The Raptor 2 engines in Ship 30 have been slightly upgraded to increase overall thrust output. This allows Ship 30 to reach higher altitudes and maintain better fuel efficiency throughout various stages of its mission. 
improved cooling and durability. SpaceX made modifications to improve the cooling system, which enhances the durability and lifespan of the engines during long duration flights and multiple reuses. In total, Ship 30 continues to use six Raptor engines, split between three sea-level Raptors and three vacuum Raptors, but with more robust upgraded versions compared to Ship 29. Heat Shield Improvements The heat shield on Ship 30 received substantial upgrades compared to Ship 29. These enhancements were aimed at improving the spacecraft's resilience during atmospheric re-entry and ensuring it can endure higher temperatures over multiple flights. Tile Redesign SpaceX has been refining the design and manufacturing process of the heat shield tiles, making them more uniform and reliable. The Thermal Protection System TPS tiles on Ship 30 are better aligned, reducing the risk of gaps or weak spots, which was a concern in earlier versions. Enhanced Tile Attachment Method Ship 30 introduced a more secure method of attaching the TPS tiles to the Starship's stainless steel hull. These upgrades reduce the likelihood of tile loss during re-entry, a key problem observed during previous flights like with Ship 20 and Ship 24. Additionally, Ship 30's tiles are tested to withstand higher stress and heat loads, ensuring more successful re-entries at faster velocities, an essential factor for future Mars missions where the heat during atmospheric entry will be more intense. Structural Modifications to support these iterative upgrades, Ship 30 featured a more robust structural design compared to Ship 29, enhancing its ability to endure the stresses of ascent, re-entry, and landing. Some of the key modifications include Improved tank insulation Ship 30 introduced better insulation and protection for its methane and liquid oxygen tanks. This helps to maintain cryogenic fuel stability for longer periods during extended missions, such as those aimed at reaching the Moon or Mars reinforced bulkheads and internal structure. Ship 30 has stronger internal bulkheads and structural reinforcements to handle the loads encountered during high-stress maneuvers like booster separation, flip maneuvers, and re-entry. These enhancements contribute to a more resilient design capable of enduring multiple flights, thereby supporting SpaceX's goal of rapid reuse. Aerodynamic Enhancements SpaceX made incremental aerodynamic adjustments to Ship 30 based on data collected from earlier flight tests, including those with Ship 29. These adjustments were aimed at improving the vehicle's stability during both ascent and descent phases. Flap Control System The flaps on Ship 30, which control its attitude during descent and re-entry, feature upgraded hydraulics and improved control systems. This enables smoother and more precise adjustments to the angle of attack during atmospheric descent ensuring that Ship 30 can maintain stable flight and reach the correct landing orientation. Optimized Flight Surfaces The shape and positioning of aerodynamic surfaces have been refined to reduce drag and improve overall flight efficiency. Avionics and Software One of the major unseen but crucial improvements in Ship 30 is in its avionic systems and flight control software. These systems play a critical role in automating the complex series of maneuvers that Starship must perform, from booster separation to re-entry and landing. Better flight control algorithms. Ship 30's flight software received significant updates, enabling more precise control over its Raptor engines and aerodynamic surfaces during various mission phases. Improved landing algorithms. While Ship 30 did not attempt a landing during Flight 5, the spacecraft's control system was upgraded to handle rapid descent adjustments and precise landing control. This sets the stage for future landings, where even more control precision will be required. These software improvements are key to ensuring that Starship can autonomously perform its complex mission profile, including engine reignitions, orbital adjustments, and eventual landings. Lighter Design to further enhance its performance, Ship 30 saw incremental reductions in weight compared to Ship 29. By reducing the overall mass of the vehicle, SpaceX aims to improve the spacecraft's payload capacity and flight efficiency. Material Improvements The stainless steel used in Ship 30 is slightly optimized compared to earlier versions, with a focus on weight reduction without compromising strength. The use of lighter materials in non-critical areas allows for more fuel or payload capacity streamlined internal components. Internal systems such as fuel pumps, plumbing, 
and electronics have been optimized for space and weight efficiency, leading to a lighter and more capable spacecraft. While Ship 30 still uses Raptor 2 engines, SpaceX has been working on the next generation Raptor 3 engines, which are expected to offer even higher performance in future Starship iterations. The success of the upgrades seen in Ship 30, combined with the iterative engine improvements, paves the way for this future technology to be integrated into Starship. Ship 30 represents a series of important refinements over Ship 29, focusing on improving engine performance, structural integrity, heat shield resilience, and flight control precision. These changes bring SpaceX closer to achieving a fully reusable spacecraft system, capable of rapid turnaround and cost-effective space missions. The lessons learned from Flight 5, where Ship 30 performed key maneuvers such as booster separation, vacuum engine operation, and a controlled descent, will help SpaceX further refine its design for future crewed missions, including to the Moon under NASA's Artemis program, and eventually, to Mars. As SpaceX continues refining its Starship system, the next major step will be refining its human rating capabilities for crewed missions. This includes ensuring that the spacecraft can safely transport astronauts on long-duration flights and handle the challenges of landing on and taking off from extraterrestrial surfaces like Mars and the Moon. Elon Musk's ambitious timeline has always been one of the driving forces behind SpaceX's success. With this latest achievement, the dream of becoming a multi-planetary species is not just theoretical anymore. It's rapidly becoming a reality. The success of Flight 5 and the Super Heavy booster catch represent a giant leap for space technology, pushing the boundaries of what is possible and bringing us closer to exploring and settling other worlds. Elon Musk's announcement following the Super Heavy booster catch marks a pivotal moment in the Starship program's history. The prospect of a crewed mission to Mars within just a few years is no longer science fiction. It's on the horizon. As SpaceX continues to innovate and break new ground, the world watches in anticipation of humanity's next great adventure, becoming an interplanetary species. If you're excited about what's next for SpaceX and the future of space travel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching and stay tuned as we continue to follow SpaceX's incredible journey to the stars.